Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to do a foundation review. You guys know I love those because I like to find the best foundation for whatever season it is. And since it's in the summer season, there are some new foundations that have come out, but there is one that has really intrigued me because so many people is hyping it up and talking about it. It is, and this deserves a drum roll, <laughs> The L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow. As honey, we got the glow this summer. Everybody wants to look dewy. Everybody wants to look sun-kissed. And I do believe that this foundation is going to do it. Now, let's get some of the information out of the way before I give you the demonstration. Now, L'Oreal is saying that this is a lasting glow foundation never dull never greasy greasy never greasy is great because if you have oily skin the last thing you want to do is look like a Krispy Kreme donut who wants to do that <laughs> on the back and I'm just reading the back of the information the finish is listed as radiant okay we like Radiant. Radiant makes you look, you know, just flawless and um, perfection. So everybody likes Radiant. Um, the wear time, it says wear up to 24 hours. Well, who is going to be up exactly 24 hours to see if this is true? Now, I'm, I'm not sleeping in my makeup. I will, um, I'm going to wear it. But I'll give you, you know, it's about 527 here. So I'll keep it on until about 10 or 11 to see. But that's it, y'all. That's it. Um, The coverage. They said the coverage is medium. And the texture is air light, which is absolutely gorgeous. So it says shake. Oh, it's liquidy. Oh, oh that's cute. So it says shake well before you apply it. And it says dot onto skin in rolling motion for flawless coverage. Now, I was one of those kids that didn't like things on my fingers when I was a little girl. And as an adult, I'm the same way. <laughs> I don't really like, sometimes I will use my fingers with concealers, but I, with concealer, but I really don't like it with the foundation. It's just like having barbecue sauce on my, on my fingers and I absolutely can't stand that so um, I'm going to use a brush okay so let's get started with this now on the front it says oxidate sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 15 you guys SPF 15 is so great for um, skin protection sunscreen protection in the summer because when you're going to be exposed to um, sun all day you need to protect your skin skin cancer is not cute and it is deadly as we are seeing a lot of your actors are coming up with skin cancer I cannot express enough make sure that you protect your skin I don't care if you're the darkest hue in the world I don't care if you're the fairest skin in the world protect your skin you have to have enough um, SPF on your skin to just protect you from the sun. The sun is great. We love the sun. It gives us vitamin D and it, it really makes things grow, but we also ha can't be in its rays too long without it, you know, really uh, damaging the skin. So make sure that it has your foundation or your primer or your um, powder, your finishing powder has some type of SPF. It will really help you in the long run. If you have oily skin, I'm not really sure right now if this is gonna be a good product. We gotta wait and see what the demo uh, really shows. But I wanna say that, you know, with combination skin, which is what I have, I want to see if it's going to be something that is going to be good. You know, it can be disastrous, but it can be very pretty. So it just depends on the look that you're going for. So without further ado, let's get into this demo.
all, I am absolutely highly impressed with this foundation. It is a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. Um, I do see what all the hype is about and I think it's warranted. I think that um, L'Oreal really nailed it with this foundation. I am so glad. Um, if they would just give me some more brown shades, I mean, hey, we would be in business. And I do like it. I do like the fact that it is liquidy. Um, sometimes I like a, a more uh, velvety or more of a thicker foundation. But in the summertime when it's already very hot, I do like something that's going to be a little bit sheerer, a little bit thin. And this particular foundation kind of gave me what I wanted. Um, it is giving me a radiant finish. So everything so far that you have promised L'Oreal in this foundation has been true. Um, the texture has been great. The coverage is really good. It is a medium coverage, but I think you probably can build it up if you want to. I don't know why you would want to in the summertime, but it's your prerogative to do what you want to do. Um, the fin finish, the finish is radiant, which is great. Um, and um, up to 24 hours, so we'll see. I normally don't wear makeup over 68 hours anyway because I just feel like that's just too much to have on the skin so late. Um, and I do a thorough removing of the foundation. But anyway, I just absolutely love this, guys. Please don't forget to leave me a comment below. Let me know, guys, if you have tried this particular foundation. I want to hear your comments. I want to hear about your shades. Now, listen, last time people left me some really stupid, mean, nasty comments. I don't want to hear that. I'm not here for that. Okay, that's, that's not my life. Okay, um, but if I want to hear constructive things about the foundation, if you think it's worth the um, price, the worth the hype, um, I just want to hear your thoughts. I'm always after a really good foundation and I really believe L'Oreal nailed it this time. Um, guys, also don't forget to share this video. Share this video with your family and your friends, co-workers, enemies, everybody. Share it with everybody, okay? And to the next video, bye babes. Okay guys, I wanted to give you a final review on this foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible. Pro Glow. It is very glowy. <laughs> the time now is 10.30 p.m. and as you can see, I'm quite glowy. Glowy is the word that we're going to use, okay? I don't want to say oily, but I'm going to say glowy. If you have oily skin or combination skin, I would probably tell you not to wear this as an all-day foundation or I would tell you don't wear this foundation over four to six hours because if you do you're going to look like this and that may not be a look that you want to have. You do have the option to blot your face to take some of the oil out and I'm going to show you real quick um, what that would do. As you can see when I blotted my face with the paper that it went back to that dewiness that I had or that beautiful glow that I had when I first um, put the foundation on. That helps you make a better um, decision if you want to buy this product. Thanks guys.